the leadership series, guys. Uh, we have Mr. Sashi Arora with us today, and Mr. Sashi, welcome to the show, and thanks for giving us the time. I'm going to start immediately with the first question, which is, what are the changes that you've been seeing in the technology world in India the last 25 years? Yeah, so 25 years uh, clearly is a very long period, and you know one of the changes which I'm sure all and every every customer has clearly observed is uh, that uh, practically anything and everything is now in our palms. You know, which is the smartphone that I'm referring to, and I'm sure it's cliched now, but uh, practically everything that we used to have around with us, whether it was a clock or a Walkman or you know uh, anything and everything, has got converged into that. And emanating from that, what is happening, and you know the change that is now enveloping us uh, all is IoT, which is Internet of Things. And again, the control is going more and more into the smartphone. So slowly and you know, if I may say, surreptitiously, what is happening is that all products around us are getting more and more connected to some kind of an app, and that app is invariably uh, or inevitably on the smartphone. And therefore, all devices that we use, you know, earlier our life was in a sense limited to let's say a laptop or uh, you know uh, anything which was connect, which was digitally designed uh, for a digital use. But what is happening now is that the Internet of Things, and I'm sure things will go more and more in that direction uh, over over the next uh, coming years. Anything and everything gets connected to that. So whether you know uh, it's 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 uh, switching on or switching off a device, or you know even like like uh, we ran a campaign. Uh, you know uh, I'm sure you may have seen it, uh, which was uh, with Amitabh Bachchan on uh, Lloyd Air Conditioners, yes. where we you know said that okay now you can change. you know the temperature uh, of your air condition air conditioner uh, remotely using a uh, you know a, a smartphone and therefore you know in a sense all things whether it is a water heater whether it is a microwave oven whether it's an air conditioner all things through internet of things the control converges into your smartphone and this is the direction that it will go more and more even into the coming years correct so you you mean to say that with the integration of these voice commands and ai we will see more of these consumer electronics conversing with each other is that the direction what even lloyd is so, taking yes uh, so uh, whether it's it's con- whether these uh, devices converse with each other or not i don't know because that still you know uh, somewhat into the future but what i can surely say is for example that you know uh, it's it's peak of winters and you're returning home and you are looking you know for taking a warm water but as soon as you reach home and you know uh, you could kind of quickly take out your phone uh, you know and and through a 4g 5g connect and you could switch it on same way if you kept some things in your microwave oven before you left in the morning and you're coming back in the evening and you want it heated as soon as you reach home you can you know switch it on you can keep it warm for half an hour one hour before you reach home and see uh, keep in mind that Uh, our commute times across you know every single city thanks to rapid urbanization the commute time is also going up you know in some cities it's as much as 1 uh, to 2 hours before yeah. you reach home so some of these things which allow you to take charge of your devices through internet which is uh, you know uh, remotely is what is going to become more and more relevant uh, i talked about two examples but obviously air conditioner where we already rolled out and this was almost about 2 to 3 years ago where you know you want the room to be cold because it's peak of summer and it's 45 degrees outside you know from a cold uh, comfort of your car you're stepping into your house you don't want the ac to take another 10 15 minutes for the air in the room to start getting cool and therefore you switch it on you know when you are parking your car in the basement or just when you are turning you know uh, the corner towards your house so lot of these things will allow you to take charge remotely let's say you know it could even be extended to you're going on on vacation and you realize that you know you let's say you not switched off the refrigerator while in many cases you may not want to switch it off because there are things lying in there but let's say you want to put it on a holiday vacation which is uh, just keep things cool i'm not adding new fruits and veggies to it just keep it at a even degree and you know so that when i come back after a week or 10 days i find my fruits and veggies in order so you can put it on holiday vacation so with people stressed on time uh, people yes. looking for more convenience from their devices and like i said uh, you know a lot of time going into 
commuting and other such things uh, some of these things will become the norm uh, even if they were not uh, in the yesterday years very very valid point and uh, you know of course we have to ask this question you know we have gone through the probably the worst time in centuries what has been the learnings as a brand you know even as at the leadership level because i can imagine sitting in april month or may month it was like i don't know what is happening you know so how were you taking stock like ac as a as a commodity was you know has reached installation because and we were like fears of covid so tell us some insights that imagine yourself sitting in may and what were you thinking and how things have shaped up now sure sure so first and foremost you know uh, i have learned that these kind of events which are you know once in a lifetime once in a century they are right. termed as black swan events and right. you know uh, whatever uh, you there is there is no amount of preparation at all which can get you ready for a black swan event because they are uh, by definition events which happen you know uh, unexpectedly and have a very large scale impact on you know business or uh, life in general so i would say that definitely uh, whether for the durable industry whether for lloyd business or for any other industry i can guarantee you because nobody would have ever imagined let's say a 30 day or a 45 day or a 60 day complete lockdown curfew situation where things which were lying in the factory and this i am imagining uh, you know imagine a bread factory that you were running and you left some dough there or you left some you know wheat flour over there and you know you can't go there or nobody can visit it for 30 40 days so uh, it it indeed was a you know an unnerving uh, moment or an event uh, for all of us uh, coming closer to our own business uh, you know april is our peak month so we get almost as much as 20 to 25% of air conditioner sales in that one month so you can imagine the impact that it had uh, on our industry and the reason this happens is because april is the only unifying month where north south east west of the country all four uh, regions uh, together uh, face summers so let's say if you were to contrast it with february where summers are only in tamil nadu or kerala or you contrast it to june where only uh, delhi and uh, nearby regions in the north are hot april is a unifying month where everything is you know and it's a peak selling month uh, for air conditioners and uh, is it maybe for refrigerators as well and that if it comes to a grinding halt uh, clearly you know all your uh, business plans aspirations your and that too the financial year begins from 1st april so everybody is raring to go and everybody is ready to look at their kras and targets and say okay well, how much percentage can i do it in this month especially given that uh, this is the uh, big month uh, of the season so that season uh, you know in a sense got uh, written off uh, for us and uh, we could kind of uh, come back and start looking at it all over again only from about june or thereabouts because may also 15 20 days went like that so it was only in june that we started looking back with hindsight and uh, looking at what things we need to do differently and that's when we realized that uh, a as a company as a business we are too dependent on one category which is air conditioner and we need to change it uh, and within that air conditioner is a very seasonal product you know because a customer walks into the store only when the night temperature is at 30 degrees you know if uh, in fact if i the conventional saying in the industry is if the child in the house uh, sleeps peacefully in the night on a, using a fan uh, a person wouldn't buy air conditioner but if he cries or he is not able to sleep peacefully uh, and that's the time when temperatures are above 30 degrees during night time that's the time a customer rushes to air conditioner whether for his second room or for his first room or another so therefore that there is need for diversifying for getting into other categories and b to have more percentage of our business from non ac categories is the learning that we drew uh, from this uh, particular event and coming from that uh, you know we rolled out uh, refrigerators as i'm sure uh, you and the audience would be uh, clearly aware of i mean can you just brief tell us what are the products that you're thinking of lining up because as a category if i have to say that you know you associate lloyd with air conditioning with refrigerator right so tomorrow you have to do something maybe a fan maybe you know something like those like a portable ac <laughs> yeah so uh, to quickly take you back you know lloyd uh, was acquired by havels uh, which is a giant in electrical uh, goods 
about uh, three to four years ago, and therefore since uh, Havels has already been uh, or is already there in electrical segment, so that therefore certain things like you know water heaters or fans, like you mentioned, or kitchen appliances, is already there under the Havels brand, and, and it's indeed forte. Uh, with Lloyd, our intention is to get it more and more into consumer durables. So therefore, uh, of course, like you rightly said, because it has a legacy of Feders Lloyd, which runs back uh, in, you know multiple decades. Uh, therefore, it's very well known for air conditioners, and we are the you know the amongst the top three brands in air conditioners uh, within this country. Alongside, we are also present in LED TV segment. We are also there in washing machine, and like I told you just now, we've also expanded uh, full time. You know, not just dabbling into it, but we put our put right into the middle of it, which is refrigerators. Uh, alongside, what we also saw or noticed, you know, it's again going back to your previous question. Also, in some senses. we realized that there the need for convenience products because you know people realized that part time help was not available the domestic help was there and there was a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, responsibility uh, put on the you know uh, shoulders of the lady of the house and therefore the need for convenience products is clearly has clearly shot through after uh, the lockdown phase has been over and which is where then we uh, planned and rolled out uh, you know a new category which is dishwashers this is as recent as uh, 1st of november so i'm talking about uh, literally this month and like i said in the past dishwasher was a category where maybe it was restricted to the top 0.1% of the population you know people who felt that they can afford it and let it be there whether they use it only when guests come or only for let's say their wine glasses or you know the fine bone china uh one impression always was that it is not good for our cookers and kadhais and the second thing was that do i really need it if the part timer who comes in at a, a domestic help that comes in at a 1000 rupees a month why do i need to invest you know in a 20 25000 rupees product but uh, covid lockdown changed everything and suddenly people realized the need for a washing machine they realized the need for a vacuum cleaner and they realized need for convenience products like uh, dishwashers and which is where we introduced our dishwasher range and we introduced it with the lowest pricing be it 25000 rupees uh, so that you know in a rough sense uh, in a two year period you recoup your you know upfront investment that you made in a dishwasher and it it pays you back there after uh, your entire life and given that majority of the households do have these houses i am referring to have experienced a washing machine for their clothes in a sense it's quite a parallel because for a cloth um, washing you use a washing machine and for utensil washing you use a dishwasher and therefore we are seeing uh, a huge demand expectation for it and we believe that now this trend will continue and people will want to be more self reliant uh, on convenience rather than you know say that you okay, know help is already available why do i need to uh, put my money into a, a futuristic product like this you mentioned black swan you know in fact that's a book that i've read obviously uh, what are the books that you have read or you know you read or any leadership books that you think of uh, like i would say uh, you know uh, think uh, sorry from good to great is one book uh, you know uh, if, if i get the name right the author right uh, jim collins or something so that uh, clearly is one of the big you know books that leaves a lastful impact uh seven effective habits uh, stephen covey is another very useful book uh, so uh, you know basically if you like uh, the kind of books that i am talking about largely leadership or you know management oriented books i am not referring to uh, more what... fiction but one correct so these uh, the books that i like are the ones which uh, you know a there is a clear uh, take away in the book that you know there is something to imbibe something to practice it something to put it into your daily you know habits and something that is pragmatic uh, do you hear through the audible through the podcast or do you like uh, not too much uh, to is an honest confession but having said that uh, you know from january onwards for various reasons because i am changing my place of residence uh, my commute time is going to increase so i promised myself that uh, starting january i'm going to definitely you know use this time the wasteful time so to say on the road to uh, listen to uh, either uh, amazon audible or if nothing else at least have a collection of podcasts 
to listen to for you know at least 45 minutes and spend that time more usefully today what i do is i use that time to make phone calls so you know given that you know we have length and breadth of the country and there are over 40 odd managers in our team so today i use that time to call up and speak to them and understand about how the day was or how they are planning the day to be but going forward i promised myself that uh, this is something that i need to kind of uh, make an adjustment you want to share uh, you want to share some leadership quotes that you live by which keeps motivating you so there are a couple of them you know uh, pick, fing, uh, uh, singling out one but uh, you know one of the top ones uh, uh, that comes to mind is that you know leaders don't do different things they do things differently it takes a you know few seconds uh, for a person to understand what is the you know person trying to say i i uh, i must admit i first heard it uh, from shiv khera uh, even though the origin of that quote could be you know well uh, yeah attributed to somebody else but the fact is that you know i'm personally speaking i've worked across uh, five six industries so realize that you know the more things change the more they remain the same which is the essentials of running a business are largely the same you know they don't change whether you know you're selling uh, an fmcg product or you're selling consumer durables or indeed you know you are um, uh, you know uh, 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 selling anything from sims to uh, whatever else so uh, the principles remain the same and it is only by you know looking at it from a different lens that you can bring uh, something different to the table so it is not that you know you are expected uh, or one is expected to go to mars and you know set up a business there uh, the commonality remains is just the viewpoint is just the perspective that you bring in which is different and that's what uh, changes uh, dramatically so i i like that quote quite a bit another one uh, since we are discussing it is something that uh, together everybody achieves more i remember in my previous organization i had put it uh, on my uh, soft board because the acronym is team now it's a killer because together everybody achieves more and it adds up to a word team and i genuinely absolutely 100% believe in it very strongly what is the one subject that you know every aspiring leader should learn or should adapt to because you know at the top level like i can imagine at your level a lot of times you are alone right you can't really go back with your insecurities to your managers or to anybody else because you have to find your own model so what are the things that you know the soft things that which really makes you very strong so you know um if if you're talking to let's say youngsters who are you know still in college or just out of college i would say uh, data science is one subject that they really need to uh, you know uh, kind of uh, uh, you know learn more about the reason i say it is because uh, you know if you go back to some of the discussions that we did around uh, you know uh, iot etc irrespective of the industry that one is in irrespective of you know the domain that one is an expert in Uh, the fact is there is now surfeit of data around us right and to make meaningful sense of data is something that is now uh, you know important for everybody to know and uh, you know going forward uh, let's say you know if you were to see some of the digital firms and you know you you take an amazon or you take uh, even a google etc the the fact is that to get insights about consumer behavior of consumer spends of how uh, customers are approaching you know it could be as as simple as what they are googling or what they are asking alexa to do but to make sense of it and to make patterns out of it and therefore uh, figure out a business trend coming from those consumer patterns it is useful to definitely acquaint oneself with that if it is if, if one is talking about an early age if one is talking about let's say you know people who are already into business or who are already you know at a senior management or a middle management level another field which i think you know everybody needs to understand more and more is that of digital marketing this learning has must definitely must have come from your stint at kotak bank when you were in marketing very in those days that was uh, must... yes and no i would say uh, some of it is uh, come through airtel where i spent over a decade right. uh, because uh, you know and i was lucky because you know uh, we used to say that you know uh, we are not digital natives you know uh, because because those we are we are not the digital generation but at the same time we have to learn everything about uh, yeah. digital and therefore it was the time when you know let's say uh, all all digital consumption 
all over the air consumption all uh, you know uh, remote consumption took off in a big way because if you go back it was nokia and blackberries before that and it was in this last uh, 15 years if i may say or 10 years uh, you know from the time iphone got launched and therefore smartphones took off in a big way and a lot of convergence of various things happened on that and one could see uh, how it's it's taking control of our lives more and more and how uh, we could also use it you know more and more to uh, capitalize on it so that's that's that what i would say has has uh, been more right. impactful Greg, this is Shashi. Thanks for your time. It was really wonderful chatting up with you. We got to know something about the air conditioning industry to keep us cool. <laughs> and sure. uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for enlightening us. And sure, absolutely wonderful uh, chatting up with you today. Yes, thank you. <laughs>